In this heartfelt video, we pay tribute to the stars we've recently lost, honoring their remarkable legacies and unforgettable contributions. An influencer mum, Tina Medeiros. We mourn the sudden and heartbreaking loss of Tina Medeiros, beloved maternity influencer and dedicated mother. Tina passed away at the tender age of 34, just days after undergoing emergency surgery in her native Brazil. With over 70,000 followers on her Instagram page, Tina was known for her heartfelt posts, sharing her journey through motherhood and offering valuable advice on breastfeeding and childcare. Tragically, she succumbed after suffering complications from an ectopic pregnancy, a condition where a fertilized egg implants itself outside of the womb, often in the fallopian tubes. In her final post, Tina asked her fans for their prayers and support as she fought to recover. She wrote, Pray for my recovery. Now I need to take care of myself. But soon I will be better to take care of you. God willing. Tina was more than just an influencer. She was a trained nurse, graduating in 2011, and had worked tirelessly in primary care before dedicating herself to her online community and her family. Her Instagram account, Amor Mama, became a source of comfort and guidance for many new mothers. Tina leaves behind her loving husband and a six-year-old daughter, who now face an unimaginable loss. Friends and fans flooded social media with tributes, honoring her as a woman of faith, kindness, and boundless compassion. It pleased God to take Ty for his own. Wife, mother, daughter, friend, businesswoman. A woman full of faith, eternal values, and boundless kindness. She reached out to so many people and saw beyond with her gaze that reflected the beauty of the sea and exuded compassion. Taino Medias' legacy will live on through the love and memories she leaves behind, as her Amor Mama team so beautifully said, Rest in peace, Tai, with love, your eternal Amor Mama team. American diplomat Martin S. Dindick we mourn the loss of a diplomatic giant, Martin S. N. Indyk, who passed away at the age of 73. Indyk's wife, Carl Hodges Burt, confirmed that he died from complications of esophageal cancer at their home in New Fairfield, Connecticut. A native of Australia, Indyk devoted his life to the pursuit of peace in the Middle East, serving as the U.S. Ambassador to Israel twice, from 1995 to 1997 and from 2000 to 2001, he became a beacon of hope in the region. Indyk's tenure as special envoy for the Israeli-Palestinian negotiations during President Barack Obama's administration, from 2013 to 2014, marked yet another chapter in his relentless quest for peace. Although his efforts symbolized the continued struggle for a resolution, his dedication never wavered. Ambassador Indyk has invested decades of his extraordinary career to the mission of helping Israelis and Palestinians achieve a lasting peace, said then Secretary of State John Kerry. It's the cause of Martin's career, and I am grateful for the wisdom and insight he's brought to our collective efforts. Since 2018, Indyk was a distinguished fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations, where his voice was a rare and trusted beacon amid the polarized debate on U.S. policy toward the Middle East. His career spanned numerous influential roles, from Special Assistant to President Bill Clinton, to Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs, and Founding Executive Director of the Washington Institute for Near East Policy. He was a visionary who not only founded an organization based on the idea that wise public policy is rooted in sound research, he embodied it, said Robert Satloff, a true American success story. He came to Washington to impact the making of American Middle East policy, and that he surely did. Indyk's legacy also includes his prolific writings, such as Innocent Abroad, an intimate account of American peace diplomacy in the Middle East and Master of the Game, Henry Kissinger and the Art of Middle East Diplomacy, published in 2021. Martin Essing Indyk's passing leaves a profound void in the world of diplomacy and peace efforts, his unwavering dedication to finding a path to peace in the Middle East will continue to inspire future generations, 
Rest in peace, Ambassador Indic. American novelist Jill Sherry Robinson. We honor the life and legacy of Jill Sherry Robinson, a gifted memoirist, journalist, and novelist whose literary works touch countless hearts. Jill passed away on Saturday at the age of 88, leaving behind a rich tapestry of stories and memories. Born on May 30, 1936, in Los Angeles, Jill was the daughter of Doray Sherry, the Oscar-winning screenwriter and head of MGM during the 1950s, and painter Miriam Svet. Growing up in the golden age of Hollywood, Jill was destined for a life of creativity and storytelling. Jill's literary journey began with her memoir with a cast of thousands, published in 1963, which chronicled her unique experiences growing up amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. She followed this with Thanks for the Rubies, Now Please Pass the Moon in 1972, and Bedtime Story in 1974, a poignant tale that later became the 1980 NBC telefilm A Cry for Love. Her profound ability to capture the human spirit and the complexities of life earned her high praise. The New York Times lauded her for exploring the bewitching and distorting power of Hollywood, while the New Yorker's John La called her the Whitman of Sunset Boulevard. From 1978 to 1983, Jill continued to captivate readers with novels such as Perdido, Dr. Roxinger and The Age of Longing, and Follow Me Through Paris. Her works span various themes, offering readers a glimpse into her diverse talents and profound insights. In the 1980s, Jill relocated to London, where she wrote evocative columns for the Daily Telegraph, sharing her experiences as an American in Britain. Her incisive interviews with personalities like Lily Tomlin and Barbara Waters, and her compelling Vanity Fair story on Roman Polanski, cemented her reputation as a formidable journalist. A mother to two children, including Jeremy Zimmer, founder and CEO of the United Talent Agency, Jill balanced her career with her dedication to her family. Her later works, including Star Country and Past Forgetting, continued to resonate deeply with readers. In 2021, an anthology of her works, Go Find Out, was published, and just last year, her final novel, Come Home Canyon, was released. Jill's passion for writing and sobriety connected her to many, influencing and inspiring through her personal experiences. Jill's commitment to fostering a community for writers led her to establish the Wimpole Street Writers, where she nurtured young talent through workshops and dinners, her unwavering support for the Veterans Administration, and her efforts to save the motion picture and television fund retirement home showcased her compassionate spirit. Jill Sherry Robinson's legacy is one of resilience, creativity, and boundless empathy as we remember her remarkable contributions to literature and her unyielding kindness. We hold her words and stories close to our hearts. Rest in peace, Jill. Your voice will echo through the ages.